Well, welcome to the Boiling Point. I'm Richie Ware, and this is, I'm by myself. I'm going to do this myself. We're going to see how this goes. So it's my first time doing this, man. Usually I've got somebody that's really smart beside me. So, hey, but you can win a hat if you've been following our series on the common uh, topics that are in the boiler room. If you would send in a question on one of the topics that you see here that's coming up, then we will send you a really cool Boiler Warehouse hat. And we're going to get started in our question this week. We're actually working on water treatment and scale prevention this week. And this is from Levi, all the way from New York. What are the common chemicals used in boiler water treatment programs? And what do they do? All right, cool. Well, let's get started. Oxygen scavengers. Now, the purpose of oxygen scavengers is to remove dissolved oxygen from feed water, and that actually uh, will prevent oxygen pitting and corrosion of boiler metal surfaces. That's amazing that uh, when you see those metal surfaces, the pits in there. Alkalinity, um, that actually is to maintain proper alkalinity, and, uh, which is also pH, right? And that is in the boiler water. A higher pH reduces corrosion by minimizing acidic attack and helps protect metal surfaces with a actually like a thin passive oxide layer. Now, number three is scale inhibitors, and there's uh, phosphate. Um, and, and this is kind of a, a phosphate treatment, right? And the purpose of that is prevent that hard scale. Um, this is calcium, magnesium salts, from, and they'll deposit on the heat transfer surfaces by forming non-inherent sludge that can be removed um, via uh, blowdown. Now, sludge, uh, this is number four, okay? These are sludge conditioners and dispersants. Now, the purpose is this, keep precipitated solids, okay? And that's uh, calcium, phosphate, uh, iron, et cetera. And that is dispersed in the water so they don't settle or form insulating scale layers around the tube, which really then they'll fail. Number five is pH control chemicals. Now the purpose of this is to control condensate and feed water pH. Now neutralizing amines counteract acidic CO2 and condensate return lines. Filming amines form a protective barrier film on metal surfaces to reduce corrosion. Number six is anti-foaming agents. Now the purpose of this is to re, re, uh, reduce foaming and they'll actually carry over, um, uh, or they actually re reduce the carryover in boiler water into the steam system which can cause water hammer and deposits and turbines heat exchange. Number seven is dealkalizers. Now they are acid neutralizers. Um, their purpose is to lower alkalinity and make up water to reduce CO2 release in steam which causes condensate line corrosion. In summary, oxygen scavengers, now remember, they stop oxygen pitting. Alkalinity, they're, uh, they're builders and pH control agents, they minimize the corrosion. Phosphates and the polymers, they prevent scale and they'll keep the solids suspended. Amines, they actually will protect the condensate lines. Now, anti-foam agents, they reduce carryover. Now, together, these chemicals uh, protect the boiler the piping and the steam system from corrosion, from scaling and carryover, which actually maximize efficiency and equipment life. Now, we really hope that you will tune in next time and uh, send in your questions. We'll get you a hat and we appreciate you hanging out with us and we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.